Nice. I know what you're thinking. I did something that no weeb has done in the history of the universe. I actually bought an anime figure. Yes, you heard me. I spent my own money that I made to buy a toy. I figured since I already watched Chinese cartoons for children, I might as well partake in adopting a young anime girl and save her from the evil Chinese factories that she came from. Now obviously, out of all the anime girls that exist in this world, I chose the only one worth saving. Shimaren from Yuru Camp. Since Yuru Camp is a growing franchise, and the train ain't stopping, obviously there would be figures of the best girl. In fact, as of this video, there are only three. Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! <laughs> obviously there are bootlegs that exist for poor people, but I'm not poor. I'm just bankrupt, and buying this shit is not helping. But anyways, back on topic, I had three choices. There was Rin sitting on a scooter, Rin sitting on a chair, and Rin sitting on a chair. Since I'm bankrupt, I couldn't really afford the scooter. I mean, scooters are pretty expensive. So I had to choose between Rin reading a book or Rin eating ramen. Now, if you've ever been to college, you know how expensive books are and how much of a lifesaver ramen can be. And the last thing I need is Rin gaining knowledge so that she can fight for her independence. Plus, I didn't really like how dark her hair is, or the paint job, and I didn't really like her face. Yeah, I'm shallow as fuck. What are you gonna do about it? It's not like she has any feelings. So $160 later, yes you heard me, $160 later, it's a pretty pricey paperweight, but at least it looks nice. And you can say that you are helping the industry by giving money to the Japanese economy. Unless you bought off the black market, then you're a fucking monster. Before you make an unboxing video, make sure you wear the proper gloves. A lot of people like to put hot glue on a figure during processing. I don't know why they haven't moved on from such a controversial way of shipping, but make sure you wrap your fingers in plastic so they don't get sticky. You will also need the proper tools in order to free your anime girl. Namely, a giant fucking knife, like the yandere bitch that you are. If you haven't slit a man's throat yet, this part might be a little challenging for you. But if you take a stab at it, you'll free her eventually. So this is the figure. It's a 1 8 scale figure made by Furyu. You can't really pose it like a Figma figure, so what you see is what you get. The build quality is pretty solid. It doesn't feel cheap. Although the parts of the figure that aren't attached to the main body, such as the individual strands of her hair, the noodle cups, the chopsticks, and the end of her scarf, they're pretty bendable and rather delicate. So do be very careful when you hold her, because you can easily break those parts that I mentioned. Oh shit. Especially the chopsticks. I accidentally bumped my finger into them and I broke the glue that attaches the lower part of the chopstick to her hand. Now luckily, no one will notice whenever I decide to resell her back to the black market, but do keep that in mind that she's a very delicate girl and you don't want to break her. As for the paint quality, it's pretty good. There's no glaring issues, and it really looks like you pulled Rin out of her world into ours. They even put the little creases on her bubble jacket. You should be aware that the white parts of her outfit is susceptible to dirt and smudges. As you can see, Rin Chan got a little dirty when I was posing her all around the house. Fuck. And no, I'm not putting her on her knees just so you can stare at her butt. Don't be a pervert. You can watch my other videos for that. Are you seriously watching porn by yourself? No! I'm with the science team! <laughs> now the main question you might have is, what can you even do with Rin Chan? Besides not opening her box and reducing her value. But if for some godforsaken reason that you do open her, well, she can sit on her chair. A nice piece of plastic with a Chinese watermark. If you don't want the CCP to know your location, Rin Chan can also sit on her own! 
If you have a ledge, she can sit off the ledge, which is the correct way for her to sit. She can also sit on flat ground. And because her hair acts as a support, her butt will never actually touch the ground. She can basically sit everywhere, on top of your computer, your water bottle, on your bed, your hentai collection, a dead meme, and most importantly, she can sit outside, so you can even take her camping with you. But her main function as a noodle stopper is to sit on top of your ramen noodles as you are cooking, so that the paper doesn't go from the heat. So we're going to do just that and see what happens.